Shalom. First and foremost, giving our praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakudash, double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And greetings and salutations to you, Achim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Mashak, in truth and in sincerity. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Uh, meaning he exists, he is. Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son, the firstborn of all creatures, of all spirits, and the uh, institutor and the uh, architect, uh, a master, the viceroy of the Heavenly Father. All right, and he is the right hand of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is the right hand of Yahweh. All right, and there is only one God. Once again, double honor to the apostles and elders. Bahashim, meaning in the name. Rocha Kodash, meaning spirit holy, otherwise known as the Holy Spirit. This is the book of St. John, the 14th chapter. And this is a victory lap. Um, what do you mean? The, vi the victory isn't won yet. Well, yeah, it was from the beginning, and it was won through his sacrifice. It was won through the beginning. It was established through the beginning, but um, through his sacrifice, through his blood. And John, the third chapter, the 16th verse, it speaks on that. It allows us to enter into everlasting life. It's already sealed. He said, it's, I, he said it is done. I am Alpha and Omega. Why? Because he was, he's the first born creature. He's the, that's why he's the Alpha. He's the only begotten son, the first son, the first creature. That's why he's considered the son of God. And, um, and he's the Omega, which Omega in the Greek meaning the end, because he is the Jacob, Jacob, as it says in the book of Second Ezra, I'm going to use a scripture to, to answer it. It says, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. It says, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, Yahweh Shai, he's the end because he's going to bring forth the end of this world. And he's going to establish the beginning of the world that followeth, which is Jacob. Yahweh Shai being a son of Jacob himself. Yahweh Shai being an Israelite. It was done through this process of John, the 14th chapter. In the 10th verse, it really was. It says, um, matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to do, um, it's like it, 10 through 12. It says, believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. See, Yahweh Shai never put himself above the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Almighty. He never did that. But what he did let you know is that you can't get to him. You can't get to Yahweh, but by Yahweh Shai. And for you heathen nations, you can't get to Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. You're going to be able to deal with the Heavenly Father and worship Yahweh through us as Israelites in the kingdom. We're going to be the priests. I mean, we can get that. I mean, you want to get the scriptures? You think we're just pulling stuff out of our, our backside? It's already right here. I didn't even, I didn't see that's the spirit. That's the spirit that was already pulled up. And I wasn't even, I, even, I haven't planned it. We didn't, I didn't write a list, list down. It's right here. That's the spirit. Zechariah, I told you we'll go to the prophets. You guys just have talking points. You like to talk rhetoric and fucking Greek Hellenistic fucking rhetoric, man. We are dealing with the truth. We're going to bring the scriptures out, man. If you're not bringing the scriptures out, we don't want to talk to you. If you're not about to bring the scriptures out, and if you don't want to reason with the Bible, please don't talk to us. Leave. Get out of our face. This is Zechariah, the 8th chapter, in the 23rd verse. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. And what, they say, well, why he say Yahweh? I don't see Yahweh there. What you, what you see there is Lord, but it's in all caps. So when you go into the Hebrew, right here, it's right here. It's not some hidden thing. It was hidden to, to the unlearned. But they're just blinded. But it's here. It says, Ka Amar Yahweh. Meaning said, Thus saith Yahweh. Ka. 
Amar, meaning say it or to say, so he saith in old, or old English, and then you have Yahweh. The name's right here, man. Yahweh. Yah. Yah or Yah. Oh, no, pardon me. It's Yah Hawa, which Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning exists, or he is. That's what his name means. So it's not, we not, no, this is actually what his name is. His name is not Allah. His name is not Vishnu. His name is not Jesus. His name is not this or that or whatever, whatever else you got them said. You people are bugged out. He has the, the 90 name, the 99 names of God. Like, no, he don't got 99 names. He got one name. It's only one guy. What are you guys talking about? Oh, these guys, these guys are polytheistic. That's what it is. Talking about 99 names. It's only one guy. Yahweh Chad. <laughs> it's only one guy. He has one name. But th this is the point and the reason why I got this scripture. I'm going to continue to read. It says, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages and pardon me all languages of the nations and this is speaking of the different heathen nations of the earth it says even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a jew now when it says jew it's not talking about you small hats because look nobody like you everybody hates you and you in the land you're supposed to be god chosen people why the fuck you some fucking kazar you you some fucking seljuks man get the fuck out of here you some fucking um gook turks they're the western rim of the Gukturk Empire. We know who the hell you are. So you stop playing these fucking games with us, small hats. We know your legacy. The Ugas. We know. We know about the Ugas. We know about the Kai. We know your history. We see you. It says the mystery of iniquity. It said to that man of sin be revealed. That's that's what's taking place. The man of sin has been revealed. He you know, went into the Eurasian steeps and took himself another identity, another name. No, we see you, Esau. We see you. And yeah, you you and your fucking drones and your fucking special forces, you gonna have to deal with the guy that dealt with Pharaoh at the Red Sea. You didn't. You shouldn't. You didn't even. You forgot about Pharaoh, didn't you? Didn't you read the Torah when you was in school, young man? Didn't, didn't they tell you how he drowned in the Red Sea? So you've become the modern Pharaoh and the modern example of all nations of how not to be. The consequence. The consequence for touching the apple of God's eye. The Israelites. You slander us. And we're going to address your slanderous points too. Every single one of them. We're not going to talk Reddit with you. Whatever you say and you slander us on, we can address it. Can you address the points in which we speak about you? We're not slandering you. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And stick to the point. Don't try to sidetrack. Let's stick to the point when we talk. And look at me in my eye. Yeah, we're going to be brought to the gates of the nobles, man. We're being brought to the gates of the nobles. The Lord Yahweh by Shemia is going to protect us through it all. Shemar Kal Bacharyum. Protect all elect. And, this, and, and you might say, well, why you say plural? Because the elect singular because we one, but plural because we many. Or may I say few? But we are a multitude that we the sons of Abraham. The initiated get it. In continuation, it says, Hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. 
see the nation's gonna know that they don't look at they shooting fucking rockets at them small hats they don't the small hats are a secular society they don't even believe in god that the, the, the small hats are the, the, it's the gayest state on the planet earth they tell is the most the most sodomites activity pink city they what the fuck these guys are wicked man How's that God chosen people coming back into the land in the last days? He trying to um, invoke prophecies of Isaiah. Please, young man, Mr. Netanyahu, please fall back, sir. Gook Turk. Get the fuck out of here. You're the Amalekites of the Bible. Oh, well, we're going to drone strike you. We're going to poison you. Well, no, you're going to have to meet Yahweh Shai and Jehoshaphat. That's what you're going to have to do. You need to worry about that. You worry about the wrong thing. That's not going to get you out of this. And you're going into captivity. You're not about to be able to, to small, your way, small hat your way out of this thing. We have removed the cap. We see what is before us. <laughs> we have removed the cap. Now you small hats are no cap. We see you for what you are. <laughs> so the nations are going to say, when, when the real Israelites, when we return to preeminence and in glory following the commandments and when Yahweh um, deliver, delivers us, the nations are going to love us. They're going to be like, oh, come on. They go to the Israelites. Oh, they go to the Jews. They go to the real Hebrews. And, they, and they're not going to call us no, no Jews. They're going to call us the sons of God. They're going to call us. We're going to have different titles. They say we're going to get new names. Which names is talking about uh, titles. We, we, but, I mean, we, we, well, the scripture said, matter of fact, oh, let me get it. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. Let me go to it. That's in Hosea. Just give me one second and I'm going to go to it. This is the name they're going to be calling us because it says it in the book of Hosea. The prophet Hosea talk about it. Stop acting like you guys don't know about Hosea. Or maybe you don't know about Hosea. I think is it, it might be the first chapter. Yep, bam. Hosea, this is a classic. This is Hosea, the first chapter in the 10th verse. Oh my goodness. It says... Yet the number of the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea. Because we're in this land. We're in this land. You know, you got Israelites in China. You got Israelites in, Af you got Israelites in Afghanistan. You got Israelites in America. Throughout America, this is where we're mostly concentrated. You got Israelites in Europe. You, got, you have Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth. As the scripture says in the book of Isaiah. And Shina and Pathros and Cush, you know, and, and Mizraim. You know, you have Israelites in Kota Sun. You have Israelites everywhere, man. Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, it's the Lord that's going to be, do the one that's gathering. It's the spirit that quickeneth. It don't matter about the flesh. It don't matter about you being an Israelite. What it matters about are you, are you going to follow Yahweh Shai? You being an Israelite don't mean nothing if you don't follow Yahweh Shai. <laughs> because a lot of these Israelites are heathens, man. They worship the idols. They're worshiping Islam, worshiping Allah, they're worshiping Vishnu, they're worshiping fucking Jesus Christ. They're worship, they just worshiping themselves. They just, they're bugging out, worshiping stones, going, worshiping the Kab Kaaba stone. Worship, worshiping Persian moon gods. So this this is why we went into slavery and jake don't want to get it jake is scattered throughout the four corners jake all in africa bugging out not listening they hear us over here talking and preaching in america you you even have G gms in tanzania you have gms in nigeria y'all niggas are not listening man and that's why the scripture says let the multitude perish which were born in vain good god It's only a lick. We're about to read it. Let's, we're about to read it. We're going to get it. This is Hosea, the first chapter in the 10th verse. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which, can, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass 
that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. So what you mean um, the heavenly father don't take himself a son? The Israelites are his sons. What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> you know? So we are his sons. The elect are his sons. The whole nation essentially are the sons, but the elect are the, the only begotten sons. We're the firstborn cre creations. I'm talking about spirit. This is before you, we had bodies. This is, I have to go, you know, you might not understand it. We might have to, you might have to die and be born again. We'll talk about you more about it in the kingdom. But I know a lot of stuff we'd be saying be going over these heathen heads. These heathens be listening to our videos and these other Israelites, these wicked Israelites from different countries. They be listening, but they don't listen. They, they listening, but they're not comprehending. A lot of the stuff go over your head. That's to your condemnation. Scripture says wisdom is too high for a fool. You know, that's what it said. That's what it says in the book of Proverbs. The, uh, was uh, the prophet Solomon, peace be upon him. Yeah, Pro yeah, the prophet Solomon said that. Are you going to give some respect to Solomon? These guys, man, they always, and the Muhammad, the Muhammad, they don't, but, but, but we believe in all the prophets. You don't even read the prophets. If you were read, if you would have read the prophets, if you would have read Hosea, you would know what Muhammad was talking about is false because they talk about in the Quran, he don't take himself sons. When it's telling you in the book of Hosea, he takes, he has sons. And it says that throughout the Bible. So you do err, not knowing the scripture, you err. That was, that was incorrect what you guys said. You add into the book you can't do that you can't add to you can't do what you want to do you can't change god's words but as you can see it says in hosea the first chapter the um the 10th verse it says yet the number number of the children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. And so that was that's in America. Yes, dead bodies. It says in Revelation 11 chapter, that's us. Um, but we're standing upon our feet. And so that will be us in South America. Of course, you have the Northern Kingdom. That will be us in Central Asia. That will be us in the interiors of Africa and West Africa and South Africa. They don't say, they don't, well, you know what? I'm going to say this. In other parts of the world, I, let me say this. In other parts of the world, they'll recognize sometimes more, so um, Israelites being, or Jake being Israelites, than um, more there than America. They don't never give us um, recognition. And, and we the ones who, the really, this is the most centralized point of, of Hebrew Israelites. Is America, but they don't. But the reason why they don't focus, on, they don't try to give us um, legitimacy in America, because America is where the tribe of Judah resides. Which the tribe of Judah is the chief tribe. Now the, the you got Manasseh, you got Ephraim. They they out in Asia. They of course they also in South America, and you got Judah in Asia too. They everywhere. But I'm, the point I'm making is the point that that I'm making is in america is where the essentially you have the reincarnation of king david took place you have the reincarnation of elijah the prophet it took place in america the three years and a half period that you read about in the bible that was talking about in america the time and times and a half a time that the prophets talk about in the book of daniel i believe that's talking about america the thousand two hundred and six score days, all that is the same equivalent time period that I just mentioned. And it's all talking about in America, a 350 year period from 1619 to 1969. And where we were, we played out the prophecies of the curses in the most vehement way. But the word of God actually, see, how I said, um, let me get that actually. We gotta get the scriptures. We gotta get we can't just be talking. We gotta get the scriptures. Nobody wants to hear you talk. We want to hear what God has to say. 
This is the book of St. John, the 8th chapter and the 32nd verse. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So when the truth came to us, and the last book of the Old Testament spoke about this happening to us. It's, I mean, it's throughout the Bible, but... I mean, Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. Like, we can, you know, Revelation, the 11th chapter. But point being... Um, the point being, we, we have this truth through, of course, Abba Bivens, which we understand and believe through faith to be Elijah the prophet. Um, it was said that Elijah would be sent. And nobody else is Elijah. Who, who else is Elijah? Look what he did. Look what his work has done. It has allowed Israelites to wake up in masses in the millions hebrew israelite is the largest growing religion in america what he has done has allowed israelites in europe great millstone in in, in Deutschland, in germany you have a great millstone in england you have a great millstone great millstone in scotland australia you have great millstone tanzania nigeria in peru in mexico you know but the thing is, it should be a great millstone in every fucking country of this planet. What the hell are you guys doing? Even you guys in the damn Soviet states. It should still be calling on Yahweh. You, you, you going if you're gonna fear God, you're gonna fear God or you're gonna fear man. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna play games and you're gonna get drafted, and you're gonna sh get shipped off to Jehoshaphat, and you're gonna die World War Three, or you're gonna die of famine, and you're gonna meet the son of God when he comes, he's gonna turn you into powder if you want to keep playing them fucking games and worshiping them damn idols it don't matter that everybody around you worshiping idols you better repent you better stop playing games yahweh shah is coming and when he comes he gonna he gonna destroy you if you don't if you don't repent and turn back to him so you don't need to care about oh i'm in i'm in this i'm in you know i'm in this this land mass or I'm in here, I'm in, you know, and then they have Sharia law here, and they have this and here. Now, who gives a fuck all that shit? Look, let me tell you something. You better fear God rather than man. You, I'm going to tell you that. You better fear God rather than man. Let me see this. I'm going to get the scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. That's why we look. We in America, even though we got quote unquote free speech, Esau gonna try to kill us. We know that. What the fuck? You think we scared of Esau? No, fuck Esau. What the fuck? Esau gonna have to deal with spiritual powers. Esau gonna have to deal with divine intervention. And we've counted the cause. We understand if we gotta lose our life. We we get it. But we also get that Esau and other nations are going to slavery, and we get that Yahweh Shah is returning too. It's a lot of stuff that we get. It's, it's stuff that these other nations, they don't get it though. They don't get it yet. We get it. This is Matthews. Matthews, the 10th chapter. And this is the words in red. So this is our beloved Lord Yahweh Shah, the Son of God. And there's only one God. This is the book of St. Matthew, the 10th chapter, in the 28th verse. It says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Which that's Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shah. He can kill soul and body in hell. So... And, we, and you're not going to a place like Hades, but he can torment you. Hell, meaning he can put you in a lower state mentally and physically. And your reincarnation, but just reincarnation is biblical. It's not, we're not talking about animals. We're talking about being born back into your households. You know, so you'll be your great, great, great grandfather or something of that nature, or grand uncle, something of that nature. But yes, when you come back, and if you, you know, you, if you were wicked, guess what? You're going to go in slavery. Like what we did, the nation of Israel. Or you'll be born and be a leper or be born with a judgment and make you lame. That's hell. That's hell. And that's why you nations, you about to go to hell because you're going into slavery. You're going to heaven, but your heaven, being, you're going to be in our heaven. When you think about the heaven, you're going to be reincarnated into slavery different nations and the ones that you were living you just going straight into slavery and then your children going 
be reincarnated. The ones that you, because a lot of them about to die. For World War Three. <clears throat> I mean, we went into slavery. It's fair, right? You know, you, you blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. You guys put us in slavery. God is about to put you into slavery. Who you who you call God or Most High? We know Him as Yahweh. That's the true God. You gonna see. I know you guys have forgot, you know, been listening to the so-called white man, but you're about to see about the guy who split the Red Sea. You're going to see he's a living God. You're going to see the guy who, who flooded the earth and, and broke up the, 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 um, the continents, as it is mentioned in the Bible. And I will say there is no other documentation that mentions a Pangea. The Bible is the only documentation, ancient documentation that mentions a Pangea and the split of Pangea in the book of Genesis. But the Christian scholars, they won't even talk about that. The Islamic scholars, have you ever heard them mention that? We talk about it. Great millstone. <laughs> oh. Point being, he's a living God and he's about to show himself and he's about to get a stain in Bozra. So that, giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. That's how he takes it to you, Aki. Shalom and keep the faith.